Hi, in today's video, compared to the previous one, I will show you how to make a wireless macro keyboard. Let's go! It might seem that uh, the content of the last video didn't quite fit with the content what I want to publish on this channel. The opposite is true. I usually create a bigger project for myself all the procedures and then try out the process of monetizing the product. So it was the case with this wireless keyboard which is already a finished product for the customer. I started as I do with every keyboard by creating a layout which I then used to generate the plate. It's a simple 4 key keyboard since there was no size requirement I decided to use a larger battery that I already have so I wouldn't have to buy any components. I used a Seduino Show BLE Sense as the control processor which is cheap and I had it with me. So the two rectangles in the model represent the size of, of these components. Between printing the keyboard, it was necessary to find firmware compatible with Siduino Show and supporting HIT via Bluetooth. The ZM key firmware seems great for this. I had no experience with it, but again, with the help of Joe Scotto's video and the ZM key's perfect documentation, it worked. You will need a Git account to work with this firmware and everything else is already nice to describe it in the documentation. It will be boring and long video if I will describe it here, but it's pretty straightforward on the website. I had a few problems myself, so it took me almost a whole day to tweak the firmware for this keyboard. So let's build the keyboard and upload the final firmware. Now when everything is 3D printed, I just need to check all the hardware components that all fit together nicely. Since this is a small macro keyboard, I didn't use the diodes here and I connected the keys directly to the shell microprocessor pins. Here I made the mistake of connecting the pins to common ground instead of common plus 3.5 volts. Once I corrected this mistake and added a switch, I was able to assemble and test the entire keyboard. What I would recommend though, if you are going to build the keyboard for yourself, 
use one of the base supported processors like Nice Nano, for which the ZMK firmware is primarily designed. You will save yourself the trouble of debugging Bluetooth compatibility, etc. This is what took me most time personally. Now the keyboard is working. I just upload the customer macros, pack and ship it. Thus turning knowledge into profit has been successful here. Thanks to this project and the money from the customer, I can transfer subscription sites to my own hosting and save money. More about that in the next video. This video was for a while last video about keyboards. And now we are going to focus on the business side and my journey from broke guy to financial independent person. If you liked the video, give a like and subscribe. It's my motivation to create and I plan special monthly rewards after reaching 1000 subscribers, which is my first goal. When here will be more of us. I would like to make some programming masterclass or some videos of giving you my knowledge for free. So make sure to follow me. Have a nice day.